All right, so here we're out with the Beretta ARX100. This is the civilian semi-automatic version of the ARX160, which is issued to the Italian military. Of course, that's a select fire gun. But this is a complete ambidextrous uh, 556 rifle. You guys have seen our video from SHOT Show and tons of others, I'm sure. Uh, but this is going to be our, basically, introduction video, first shots of the ARX100. A lot of people have been waiting for this rifle for quite some time. They announced this a few years ago at SHOT Show and just recently has come out to the market. So some of the features of the uh, weapon here, of course, it has a folding stock, which is nice. It you know, compacts the gun down for being in a vehicle or what have you. And then uh, you have a retractable, I think this is a four or five position stock, can't remember offhand. And then you'll see sling points for the gun here, 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 and then one at the top here, which you can actually uh, swivel this around to the other side of the gun if, you, uh, if you're right or left-handed. Everything on here is ambidextrous for right and lefties. Also, you'll notice it has a full monolithic rail here. And my one gripe, since we're right here, are going to be these sights. Um, these look like they should be on a toy and they feel like they should be on a toy as well. They're just very big, clumsy, and they feel cheap. <clears throat> now we did take uh, a few shots with the gun just to uh, check function. The sights were dead on, um, so that's a good sign, but they're just, uh, they really, they really should have put some nicer sights on that. This will be the first thing we change. Um, you'll see that really soon. We'll probably throw some uh, Troys or some Magpuls, something on here. Um, but one of the reasons I don't like it is that I can swing this way. I'm not sure if I'm... Are we on camera there, Gary? Yes, sir. So you'll see that you lose a lot of vision with this big squared block sight. And that's one of the things I don't like about them. Also, uh, you'll notice when firing in slow motion, you can see the sights will dip down with the recoil um, that's not really good either um, it does have a nice adjustable aperture here in the back that you just dial in but the sights are really a miss on this gun in my opinion okay you also have rails here on each side these are removable but if you take off the rails you're still left with the mounting brackets here so you'll probably want to leave those on let's see you have like a built-in bad lever kind of device uh, for the bolt just press it down to let the bolt slide home and then pull up with your finger and it'll hold the bolt open so that's pretty nice um, you also have a release here at the bottom as well um, for the magazine and this is also a uh, bolt hold open but if you press it hard enough it will release the magazine you also have a mag release ambidextrous here on both sides of the rifle as well as the uh, bolt stop and bolt release. Now the uh, adjustment for the rounds being ejected from the left or right, you'll see there's a hole right here. You can just take a round or a punch or whatever you have, push it, it'll eject out the uh, left side push it from the left side it'll eject out the right side so pretty easy you can also the charging handle can be switched from left to right and we'll do that for you real quick what you're gonna do here is you're gonna pull this out to this position and I just locked it there and all you're gonna do is take your finger and push the charging handle through and you now can charge it like an AK or if you're a lefty with your right hand okay then the other you know big part of this weapon is the barrel change on this this is extremely easy it's sort of glock like and then you can see you have a little portion of rail here before i show you the barrel and you can take this section here off and they have a proprietary you know like an m203 grenade launcher that slides under here I suspect that someone will come out with an accessory that will replace this piece to give you a full rail here. You know, I'm, I would like to have something like that myself. 
But as far as the barrel, let me go ahead and lock this back. There is a uh, one of these on each side. All you're going to do is pull those down and you can slide your whole barrel assembly out. It is the fastest that I know of. It takes just a few seconds to remove the barrel. And just a few seconds to put it back in. You just want to make sure that that's locked in. So there's a little uh, storage compartment here also. But that's about it. Uh, we'll do a full breakdown of the gun in the uh, tabletop review. Let me slide this piece back on. We'll go ahead and uh, do some function tests with a few different types of ammo first. <clears throat> it comes with a GI style uh, magazine, which I, I don't prefer. Uh, we'll try it with some uh, mag poles and then a hex mag and maybe a battle mag as well. But uh, we're running American Eagle first out of the factory mag. We'll just do five rounds. We're gonna run some Wolf steel case and also some PNC bronze. Let's flip up these fantastic sights and put a couple rounds down range here. problem with the uh, American Eagle. This is a hex mag. This has Wolf steel case in it. Five rounds of that. No problems. And PMC bronze out of a P mag. Uh, this is a second gen P mag. So no problem so far. And like I said, we shot a few times just to function test it and not had any stoppages through it whatsoever. All right guys, so now we got 15 rounds per magazine. Go ahead and throw a few more through it. In the uh, factory mag, we got some, some uh, Wolf steel case. very smooth all right uh, is this American Eagle in the hex mag or is this PMC 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 bronze all right Let's see what we can do with it here target really nice that's out of the box on target I like that yeah I mean even the recoil I mean it you're right back on target with open sights even burning off a little of that lubricant here from the factory all right shots at that small gearhead works are you yeah transitions are nice to it with it too there now we get some 
smoke rolling off there get off that all that burned off um, first impressions I really like it it's very light this thing's probably sub seven pounds or so pretty quick on target feels comfortable I like all the ambi controls she's a she's a thick girl though I mean it's uh it's a pudgy rifle I guess is the best way I could say it especially out here where the rails are yeah it's uh it's it's pretty thick up here but I really do like the gun No problems whatsoever, no stoppages, anything like that.